but now of a different kind, characterized this time by bold design and vivid colors. An art, in fact, that produces the spectacular creations of fashion designer Teddy Tinling. So let's go behind the scenes now to see some of his latest creations, inspired in the main, as you'll see, from recent travels abroad. This, then, is an outfit called Beach Ball, a black cowling poncho worn with multicolored sailcloth slacks. Strangely enough, the outfit was inspired by this huge beach basket given to him in Australia as a souvenir. He was so impressed by it that the beachwear was designed to go with it. From the Costa Brava comes an idea borrowed from the traditional peasant costumes of yesterday worn on fiesta days. Guided by a postcard impression and using the same materials and the same pattern, Tinling has created this balloon coat with its striking geometric motif worn over a white sheath dress. Isn't it amazing what a fresh approach can do? To think that only the design has been changed, brought up to date, in fact. A necklace from Fiji is one of many odds and ends picked up in different parts of the world and kept until Tinling finds an opportunity to incorporate them in one of his creations. This time in a woven cotton pique dress embroidered with raffia and white china beads. Over it is worn a summer cocktail coat in nylon organza. Satellite, not inspired this time by any holiday in outer space, but nevertheless Teddy Tinling's personal contribution to the International Geophysical Year. New York's Manhattan skyline is the theme of a lounging two-piece consisting of tunic and matador pants. Called Manhattan Madness, 10,000 sequins have been embroidered into the black material to give the necessary glitter. By the way, to prove he practices what he preaches, a complete wall at his flat is decorated by a blown-up photograph of the same scene. The very latest balloon silhouette. The motif, incidentally, a Honolulu print designed by Shaheen, known today as the Picasso of the South Seas. Here's an example of an artist's association of ideas. A matador-type outfit inspired by the texture and colouring of a bath mat he noticed in a Swiss hotel. The outfit, by the way, is called Olay. Finally, a balloon-type beach suit called High Summer. Under the jacket is what can best be described as a semi-sack sunsuit with an attractive cummerbund running through the back. The colour scheme is meant to blend with a Mediterranean setting. It certainly puts an English summer to shame. Still, perhaps with a few more like this, even the sun might take a hint.